Hey guys, uh, welcome to College United Engineering with Bungan Bumere. So today we'll be doing house wiring of the DB. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm going to show you how you wire your DB, and I uh, will try as much as possible to follow the sun's rules. And I will also show you why sometimes some electricians do some of the stuff. Okay, so now let's see. Uh, this is your supply. Okay, and let's see. Okay, so let's say this is your supply breaker. This is your life, and then this is your neutral. Okay, uh, okay. Let's let's make this one neutral, and make let's make this one your life. Okay, so this supply is from your meter. Okay, and then we'll have our neutral. And we'll have our life. But now, we're going to have a neutral bar. Okay. We're going to have a neutral bar. In fact, let's, let's use the color green. We're going to have a neutral bar. Okay. And then, this neutral here is going to come and connect to this neutral bar, okay? Now I'm going to call it supply neutral, okay? And then we are going to have our earth leakage now. This is our earth leakage. Uh, we'll call it supply. And then we'll, let's call it and say leakage. Now, let me try it. Try to draw it a little bit closer and see leakage. Okay. So now we come here. And then we are going to supply our neutral. This is the input, right? So our neutral must come from here. Okay. So, I'm going to take this. Okay. So, you see, our neutral comes here. So, we'll see neutral. Okay. And then our life. Ah. Okay. Jumps. Okay, then that's our life. I didn't want to cross cross, but it's fine. Just just to show you the basic understanding. Okay, so now uh, we've got our earth leakage and we've got our supply. Okay, so now here comes your appliances. Let's start uh, with a geyser. Okay, let's say you've got a geyser, and then see this one will be your geyser. Okay. And then this one will be your stove. And then this one will be your socket. Okay. So we'll see. Giza. Uh, stove. And then say socket. And then this is your socket. And then let's put one for your light. Then these are all breakers, okay? These are all circuit breakers. So now, uh, okay, let's let's start with the neutral, okay? So and then this one is your life. This is your life. This is your neutral. So you can see that my earth leakage receive power from the output supply circuit breaker. Yeah, because you can see the supply neutral comes here and the neutral for the earth leakage comes here also. And the life for the earth leakage comes from the supply breaker, okay? But now, our geyser now, okay? Uh, our geyser will receive power 
from the earth leakage, okay? So meaning that uh, the neutral, oh, okay, before we go to the neutral, let's go to this other neutral. Remember I said we will have a supply neutral. We'll also have a earth leakage neutral. F leakage neutral. Okay, so you are going to have two neutral bars. Neutral bar, neutral bar. Okay, so this neutral will come here. Okay, so the output neutral from the earth leakage will come here. Okay, so which means that if Okay, let's start with the neutral. Most of the time, we see that people, they don't connect the neutral with the earth leakage. They connect it with the supply, okay? Yeah. They connect the neutral for the geyser and the stove from the supply neutral bar. Or you can just put it here. They connect it from the supply neutral bar. But why is it that they do that? It's because of avoiding nuisance tripping. Okay? Remember that the rating for your leakage or earth leakage is 30 milliamps. So sometimes the geyser and your stove, they produce a leakage which uh, will be more than this. And then it will cause your application to keep on tripping. So this is why most of the time or sometimes they connect your geyser and your stove neutral and, and live on the output of the supply and not of the application. So it means that if you connect your neutral of your geyser on the neutral supply side, it means that also your life must come from the supply side. So which means that this life now will also connect to the earth leakage, right? So we'll say life and we'll say neutral. Okay. It's something that you must never do. If you take your neutral from the supply, you must also take your life from the supply. You can see this supply it goes on the earth leakage and it also goes to the uh, geyser. Okay. If you take this supply, let's say uh, we want to supply our geyser and then you decide to take the life from the earth leakage but your neutral you took it from the supply, it's going to trip. So you must make sure, remember that uh, current in is equal to current out, which means that if you connect your geyser neutral on the supply, also your life must be on the supply. If you connect your neutral geyser on the leakage, also, your life must be on the leakage, okay, or after the leakage. I think you understand what I'm trying to say, okay? So, but today, we are going to connect our life on the, okay, here we connected it on the supply. Yes, you are going to connect it on the supply, okay? And then your neutral, remember, also goes to the supply. Okay, but now, um, when you are doing your actual wiring, okay, this is what is allowed and what is not allowed. When you connect your geyser and your stove on the supply and not protected by your egg leakage, there must be an exception uh, to make this to, to be sense approved. In other words, the first thing has to be, you must not put a three-pin plug, okay? No plug, 
Okay. In other ways, you must not have, you know, that three pin plug you must not uh, put that three pin plug. Okay. It must go straight to the box. So your geezer, wherever it is, that cable, it must go straight to your DB. It must not go to your dripping plug, okay? And then it must be for permanent installation. And then um, you must, you, you can have an isolator, yes. Isolator must be there. Isolator. You can put an isolator, okay? Yeah, that's according to your sense, but you... I'll post the rules and the regulation according to sales. Yeah, but this will do on another video. So the important thing that I wanted to emphasize is that if you take your, uh, the supply for your, the, the, uh, your life for your geyser from the supply side, then you must also take your neutral from the supply side. You don't mix. Okay. And then for the stove also, let's take our life from there. And then our neutral will go also, it will jump and come here on the supply side. Okay. But now the sockets, we are going to put them under our earth leakage. Okay. So your, your life gonna come here also, come here and then your neutral uh, the neutrals for your for your lights we are going to get them from the earth leakage or under the earth leakage so it can go to your lights your light no it will go to your sockets yeah to your sockets okay or unless if you've got one which is double pull in such a way that you can also come and connect here, okay? But for now, let's do it like that, okay? Let's assume it's just a single pull, okay? So if it's a single pull, that's what you're going to do. Your neutral bar will go straight to your, socket, uh, to your sockets, okay? And then your light. According to sense, your light must be protected by the earth leakage. But unless if it's an emergency light, if it's an emergency light, you take your supply straight. You, you, you supply your, what do you call? Your, your life will go straight from, uh, okay. If it's from this supply, then I'm going to take it from this guy. Yeah, because of this is also from your supply, okay? But remember, if you take your light uh, life and put it on the supply side, it means that also the neutral, it must come from this, from this one. So this will be your light, the neutral for it, okay? So that's how you do house wiring, okay? And then your earth, wherever you get it, it depends how they supply it. Uh, for you, but wherever you get it, you must also have a, an F bar. You'll have an F bar. F bar. Okay. So, that's it for this video. But uh, now, that's what I wanted to show you. The most important thing is that uh, current in is equal to current out on your F leakage. So it means that whatever life that you take under your earthly cage, make sure that the neutral also is under the earthly cage. If you swap the neutrals or mix the neutrals, and then you'll have tripping. So, and also your geyser and your stove, you are allowed to take them under the earthly cage. It's not a problem. As long as it won't cause nuisance tripping, as long as you don't trip, but if it keeps on tripping, then you can take it from the supply side. The reason why we take uh, the geyser and the stove most of the time from the supply side is to avoid nuisance tripping. 
okay so sometimes your your, your geezer might need a thin neutral which is not under a leakage okay so that's why most of the time we take it from the supply side only for your stove and your uh, and your and your geezer but for the sockets always protect them okay and i will i'll, I'll post screenshots of uh or, or or pdfs of your sense how you must wire uh your your geezer and your stove uh, according to the rules but the most important thing don't mix the neutrals don't mix don't mix the neutrals okay and then i will do a separate video for the rating your m's rating but make sure that always this one we allow 30 milli amps for your nuisance stripping or for your uh, leakage current. Yeah, so your leakage current must be 30 milli amps. Okay, so these ones they produce high resistance, so that's why most of the times they cause stripping. It's like most uh, VSD. If we had a VSD somewhere, somewhere, uh, if we take it under the earth leakage, it will cause stripping. Because if you know VSDs, what they do, variable uh, speed uh, drives or variable frequency uh, drives, they, they cause a lot of noise and stripping. So it's better we connect them from the supply side and not on the earth leakage side. So thank you for watching. And uh, let's meet on the next video where I show you the M rating for your all your breakers and uh don't forget to like subscribe and share the video and don't forget to press the thanks button let's meet on the next video shop shop